Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a solid dish soap. We're gonna be using some biodegradable surfactants and this soap actually has a very great foam and lather to it. Some solid dish soaps can lose their lather and I get questions about this all the time so I thought I would formulate one for you that has a great foam and lather and that is also eco-friendly. This is an effective yet minimal ingredient formula that I think you're really gonna like. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a full visual step-by-step -step process and tutorial of how to put together these little soap, solid dish soaps. And if you would like the full written recipe with percentages, amounts, links to where to purchase all the supplies, along with a full step-by-step -step detailed tutorial, please head on over to my Patreon campaign. Over there, it will be available at the $7 level, which is the bonus recipe level. I hope you'll check it out. I'll put the link to my campaign in the description box below. If you haven't had a chance to check out my campaign yet, I really hope you will. We've built a wonderful community now of over 3,000 makers. I have seven tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of, each with their own unique benefits. Upon sign up, you'll gain access to 463 posts, and I do post every week so the library continues to build. The community of makers over there is awesome. It's a great way to connect with me and connect with other people. Also upon sign up, you'll receive coupon codes to my favorite suppliers like makesy.com and onlinelabels.com. So there's just a wealth of information. It's a great way to connect with me and other makers. All right, let's make some solid dish soap. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this in the crock pot, but I'm going to weigh everything off into this mixing container first. So the first thing we're going to do is weigh off our surfactants for this formula. The surfactants are what's going to give this formula its bubble and foam. Now I mentioned in my intro that some solid dish soaps just don't have a lot of lather and foam, and that's okay. It doesn't mean that they're not good at cleansing, but I know for me, I like to have a dish soap that really gives a good bubbly, lathery foam. I feel like, to me, it just makes me feel like things are getting cleaner. So I formulated this with three different surfactants and they are all biodegradable surfactants and plant-based. So they're gonna be gentle on your hands, but very effective cleansers as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is weigh off some Sodium cocoa sulfate noodles. Sodium cocoa sulfate is a solid surfactant made from coconuts. And we're gonna weigh that off right into our mixing bowl. Now you may want to wear a dust mask when weighing this off because this does contain a little bit of airborne powder on the noodles and it can get into your airways and be very irritating. The sodium cocoa sulfate noodles that we just weighed off here are going to contribute to the majority of the lather here. They uh, just have a really good, nice bubbly lather. And then the second surfactant we're gonna be adding in is some sodium cocoa isothenate, otherwise known as SCI. And again, it's another plant-based surfactant. This one is super gentle. It has a nice dense foaming lather to it. And again, biodegradable. You guys might have seen my other video on how to make a solid dish soap. That is a cold process soap method, also available over on my Patreon campaign. So now you will have two to take a look at over there. So kind of one of the great things about this type of formula is there's very little cure time and I feel like you can get a better big bubbly lather with the surfactant style formulas versus the cold process but um, you know there's benefits to the cold process one as well. So it really just is a personal liking or a personal preference. Then we're going to add in a liquid surfactant known as sodium laureth sulfate not to be confused with sodium laurel sulfate. Sodium laurith sulfate is much gentler and it's also biodegradable and this is going to contribute to your 
cleansing properties in your foaming and lather, just like the first two solid surfactants. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh this off. Now, the solid surfactants will not melt without some other sort of liquid surfactant mixed with it and or some distilled water. So we're gonna be weighing off some, also some distilled water. Then we're gonna be weighing off a bit of white vinegar. White vinegar is gonna help with disinfecting and cleansing and it's also gonna help put a little shine onto your dishes. So we're gonna weigh off white vinegar. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some glycerin. Now glycerin's gonna help to keep the bubbles a little bit longer. Glycerin does draw moisture to your skin and it also enhances foam and lather. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our glycerin. There we go. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some washing soda. Now, washing soda is a derivative or a byproduct of baking soda. You can make it yourself. I just purchased mine on Amazon. Um, but washing soda does help with the cleansing properties. It softens the water that you're using, so it helps the surfactants and the detergents in this formula to bind with dirt and grease. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh off our washing soda. And there we go. Okay, the other ingredients are gonna be some essential oils and some preservative, which will add last. We don't wanna cook those ingredients. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just combine this. And then we need to go ahead and cook this down until the solid bits melt or turn into to a paste-like consistency. So that's when I'm gonna bring the crock pot. Now you can, essentially you can make this in a double boiler system if you like. I like the crock pot method. It's just a little bit easier. So right now I have my crock pot turned on high. So it's very hot. Um, it's been warming up some. So we're just gonna go ahead and place our combination of surfactants and glycerin and water and washing soda into the crock pot. And then we're gonna allow this to melt down. So what I'll probably do is just go ahead and put the lid on this and allow the surfactant to warm up a bit and then we'll come in and stir it a little bit as it's melting. I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, so this has been melting down for a few minutes now with the lid on. I've come in and stirred it a few times and this is what it looks like so far. As you can see, it's starting to melt down and look a little paste-like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a few more minutes. This will not get totally homogenous, meaning you will still see some of the solid surfactant noodles in here and that's okay. We're just going for kind of a lumpy paste-like consistency. So we're gonna allow this to continue to melt down. 
and I'll bring you back when it's completely to where I like it. So this formula now is as melted down as it's going to get. I've turned off my crock pot and then the next thing we need to do is go ahead and add in our essential oil and our preservative, but this formula right now is a little too hot to add in preservative. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this from the crock pot and just allow this to cool down and we'll be back to add in the ingredients soon. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and add in our preservative and our essential oil. This is just a blend of tangerine essential oil and rosemary essential oil. I absolutely love this combination and it's gonna turn our formula into a beautiful bright yellow color. And so we're gonna go ahead and add this in now. ahead and mix this up get everything well combined I'm using a stiffer style spatula here because this paste gets pretty viscous and it's easier to scoop up the residue that gets stuck on the sides with a stiffer type spatula there you go you can see my formula going to a beautiful bright yellow color so you just want to mix this in until everything's sort of an even color the best you can again some of these pieces are still a bit solid so you could get this to be a more homogeneous formula if you add more water to this but if you add more water to this formula um, you're gonna get a little bit more of a softer bar Okay, so we're going to go ahead and place this into our mold. I'm using this circular silicone soap mold here. We're just going to go ahead and place There we go. bit of plastic wrap and just go in and smooth these out and just press down and make sure you're getting the paste completely pushed down into the mold that'll make an even a more even end product your plastic and press the material into your mold making it as even as you can to set up and then we'll be back to unmold them in just a bit all right while these are setting up I'm just going to show you one that came out of a previous batch so this is what it comes out looking like it's just a little puck and they fit perfectly inside of ramekin dishes I'll show you what that looks like so if you have a ramekin dish
If you have a ramekin dish like this, this is just the regular small size, I'm not exactly sure, these little soak, pu soak pucks will fit perfectly in there, just like that, and that's how you can store it if you like. I'm gonna give you some wrapping ideas for these two um, at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and test this out and see what kind of lather we get. All right, we're over my sink now, and I just have some solid dish soap scraps left over from scraping out of the um, mixing container of prior batches. I'm just gonna show you the lather this way. Um, you can also just hold your puck under the, under the running water and you'll create a nice lather. This is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. As you can see, it's bubbling right up. And give it a nice, just agitate your water a little bit. Get those bubbles going. There you go. So then you can just take your solid dish soap puck. This is how mine looks. This is the one I've been using. I had it in a little sunflower mold. And you can create a lather right here in your ramekin dish. Or you can just take it out if you wanted to and create a lather on your, on your brush, like so. Check that out. A nice gorgeous dish soapy type lather and then here's some dishes I'll just demonstrate Get in there and you can even use a sponge you get in those tight corners and as you can see it just leaves the dishes really nice cleansed I'll rinse that There's a nice clean dish for you. And then I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. This little container has like some stuck food in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that looks like. This, this is stuck eggs. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that lather going again. This is just a little bamboo brush. And there you go, nice and clean. So if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna show you how I wrap these. All right, so these have been popped out of the mold and they've been setting up now for about 24 hours. They're nice and hard, they smell awesome. And I just wanted to give you a, a wrapping option here. So I just have this cute tissue paper that I got from Amazon and I cut it into these rectangular shapes. Now you could shrink wrap these first if you were nervous that the essential oils would eventually leave marks on here. Like with my bath bombs, I'll shrink wrap them first before I put the tissue paper over it. That way it just kind of protects the tissue paper from looking spotted, but I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. So I just, it's so easy and so cute. I just place the, and you can see where the sunflowers are, the pattern. So just try to place it somewhere where you think it's gonna best be seen on that side. This side's gonna have the sticker. So I just draw up my corners like so. And 
and that kind of starts to fold in the tissue paper and then I just kind of carefully gather it up into a little bunch and then I just start twisting and just making sure everything is tucked in like so and then I just twist it like this and then I take some sharp scissors and I cut down as low as I can get and then I've created a cute little label to go with the tissue paper design and I just cover this up like so and there you have it one wrapped little dish cake and that's what it looks like on the other side and what's cool about these is they look super cute just popped inside of a ramekin so you could sell you could sell it as a set just like that I think that looks really really cute so I've got two of them wrapped and we'll go ahead and continue wrapping the others. that's how you make and wrap a solid dish soap I hope you liked this video if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up please remember to leave me some comments and questions below that really means a lot to me share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel all right everyone catch you on the next video keep shining bye